Hello and welcome to Breathwood. My name is David Yates and I'm super excited about this. This is a wood slide made by Jean-Yves in France. I've been wanting one for two, three, four years, I can't even remember. And I did buy a, a wood sliding didgeridoo that was okay. It was all right. This is a completely different story, so I want to share it with you. Um, it's not cheap. It's uh, eight or nine hundred euros, plus shipping, plus customs, plus the cost of a bag, and the bag's awesome. Um, but here's here's the instrument. Um, so I'll just dive in and show you what what it's all about. It's three sections. So we've got the top intersection with the mouthpiece. There are these little dots here that help you know where you're at in terms of tuning. So it extends to about, yeah, I think that might be the last one. He uses these rubber rings to keep the different sections from sliding out and through each other. Then there's this inner metal tube. I think it's brass. And again, there are dots on it to show you where you're at in terms of the tuning. He has a chart uh, showing when you combine these dots with these dots, you get this key. So that one extends out to here, I believe. And then the bottom section is quite beautifully done. I really appreciate this uh, metal ring built into the bottom, which is already a bit scuffed from me, you know, playing it resting on the ground. Uh, keeps the wood from getting totally scratched up. So that's that, and then here's this end. I don't actually know what wood the top is made out of. It looks like mahogany or, or walnut. I should probably ask. In terms of design, uh, it's heavy, it's bulky, uh, there's no locking mechanism, so if these rings weren't here and this metal middle section were at this height, it would just fall right through. Uh, up to a certain point, when it's pulled out more, then uh, friction holds it in place. So this uh, ring is a backup. It's the full range. Um, Definitely low G to F, F sharp, and maybe A to G, I'd have to double check. Um, and what I'm so impressed with, with this ditch, as opposed to the other slide that I bought about two years ago, is that it sounds awesome at every note, every point along the scale. So let me just uh, share some of the sounds. I'll go to the first dot here, and First dot here. So if I'm doing it right, this is the first position. But I really got this uh, a day ago. <laughs> so I'm just learning it and excited to share. <laughs> oh, 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 something on my computer is starting to play. All right. Um, that's awesome. I mean, I could, <laughs> I would pay good money for a dig that plays that well, and it is only that key. Let's go to the next. So I'm going to extend the metal tube to the next position. Move the rubber ring down.
so I've got a little um, webcam attached to the top of my laptop and it has a microphone that picks up voice fairly well and dig fairly well but you should hear it in person uh, a lot of the videos I watched of this didgeridoo before buying it just didn't do it justice it is booming it is full there's a lot of texture uh, and in a resonant space in this space with the wood walls the tile floor it sounds incredible When I play this dig, it just, I start to get carried away. It just, I get taken somewhere else. It just flows. Uh, I'm going to move, I have a little box here on the floor reflecting the sound back so you can hear it better. I'm going to move it. Now that I've got the metal tube down at the three dot spot, I'm assuming I'll leave it there and then now move the wood out so we've got and then we've got I'm not usually a fan of the lower pitches but these sound awesome It actually gets down to a pitch that I have trouble playing at first. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> oh, that's the end. I might have one more note in here. <laughs> I don't know if I could show this to you. Uh, here's the whole length from the mouthpiece all the way extended, whoop, running into the wall to the bell. It's big. So that's the wood slide. I'm going to sell a couple of my other didgeridoos. I'll definitely keep at least one eucalyptus for now that has a texture and sound all to itself. And I have at least one yucca that 
I actually consider my healing dig. It's the only didgeridoo that has ever been gifted to me. It's light. I can carry it around a yoga class, a sound healing. Um, this one's a bit too heavy to carry around a class, so uh, I need to get a stand or make a stand for it so that it can just be stable. And then I can back away as I need to lengthen it, and the microphone will just stay at the end. Um, with this dig, I don't need too much else. <laughs> it plays so beautifully in every key. Um, and I'm not sharing this to try to sell it to you. I have there's I don't gain, gain anything from you, you know buying your own. Uh, I'm just excited to share it. And when I was first researching it, I would have loved to see someone's breakdown of this dig and hear how it sounds and see how it works. Here it is. It's a, it's a work of art. Um, and for the money, I'm getting all the possible keys in one dig. And if I think about how my first eucalyptus was $400, and every dig since has been around that range or more, sometimes less, 300 and up, let's say, all keys, even if I'm looking for maybe eight keys times $300, that's way more than I paid for this. Um, so it's an investment up front. That was my uh, travel money. <laughs> I'm going to have to play this somehow to make that money back so I can actually travel with it now. Um, I highly recommend it. And if you have any questions about it, want to know anything more about how it plays, uh, the keys, how it works, um, Maybe I can weigh it for you at some point, measure the length. I need to find out wood he's using for this one. Um, he used different wood and I basically got to pick my design. Um, let me know, just write it in the comments. Uh, super happy to share. This is not really a travel slide ditch. The case is awesome and makes it transportable. It's a beautiful heavy strap and heavy zipper, you know, dark canvas. Um, if I were traveling a lot, walking a lot, I would want something lighter. So maybe a fiberglass based slide ditch or even PVC. Even the wood laminate I have, um, more it's more portable. I don't know if I can go back to it after the amount of resonance and vibration that this didgeridoo puts out. It's amazing. So there you go. First video about the new wood slide that I just picked up. Um, thanks for watching as always. Happy playing and I'll see you very soon.